God bless you, my sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus. Of course, I'm on here with a different effect. You know, you can make yourself look this way, that way, but you all know exactly who I am. God bless you today. I used the uh, effect makeup this time. Praise be unto God. Sisters and brothers, a couple of days ago, I was sitting down at the park, and I kept seeing the number 911. The first time I looked at it, you know, sometimes God knows how to handle each and every one of us. I Sometimes you can see a number and you see something, but you're not sure what it means. But God will send it right back to you to let you know no you're not tripping no you're not crazy everything he sent you is for a reason praise be unto God well I, uh, as I began to see that number twice but I've been seeing it off and on sisters and brothers God began to give me revelation about that number you all know we are in the month of September. Today is September 1st. September, I think, I don't know what date it is, but this month they're supposed to be voting uh, over in Israel about the Daniel 9, um, 27 uh, vote. You know what that means confirming the covenant when they sign the covenant you know that's 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 something big in prophecy now i'm hearing a lot of people saying um we're gonna you know be raptured out as soon as they do that let me make myself clear i am not setting any dates on the rapture the Bible clearly says, no man knows the day of the hour. Our Lord shall appear through the clouds. But only our Heavenly Father. Not even Jesus himself knows. But our Father knows. Praise be unto God. So the number he, he given me, you know, it, 911 is a very important number. And I'm like, I've been seeing it everywhere. Another guy put it up there, put up there, confirming what I, I've seen. He put up there about how Russia is supposed to be nuking the USA. Now, I, I'm, I, I didn't say this. It's one of the brothers put it on TikTok. They don't want this stuff out. But they can't stop the children of God because this is how we communicate, sisters and brothers online. This is not for everybody. If you don't want to hear this, keep strolling. This is for educational purposes. This is for uh, Bible prophecy. God's uh, Bible prophecy is being unfolded right before our eyes. Because many don't want to hear it. It is not for you. Keep strolling. Praise be unto God. So the number that I've seen, it's, it, it just sticks with me. And I'm like, God, what is it? What is it? What's the revelation of this number? He began to show me New York City when they had the twin tower that fallen on that date, 911. We must be very alert in this month. Whatever you're doing, that's not right. I'm asking you to repent right now. Repent and turn right now. Because Jesus can come back before I finish speaking on this camp. But also, 
No man knows the day or the hour our Lord shall appear. But you see the signs. They're right in our face. You see everything that's been happening in the book of Revelation and Daniel. We are right at the breaking point of Jacob's troubles. When Jacob, Jacob are going through great tribulations, the church is going to be raptured. I'm hearing Russia done already started. We all know when the EMP strike. We all know when Russia strike America, the church will be raptured. The Bible says we are living in the times of Noah. What were they doing back in the times of Noah? They were drinking, they were partying, they were smoking, they were building, they were marrying, uh, they, they were changing DNA, and on and on and on. You can read for yourself. You can find it in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. You can read it for yourself. He says, man, women, we all going to be doing what we usually do. Business as usual, sisters and brothers. By the way, shout out to Fly With Shay. She is a pastor and she's preaching the gospel around the world just as I am. Shout out to Fly With Shay. She's, she's one of those on this camera too. She speaks out. We don't let our identity and what we're doing and what's going, happening with our mouth stop us because we know that we're not on here to look good. We're not on here. If you see something that ain't right, guess what? God will fix it. And he's working with each of us. God said, don't let nothing on your body stop you from preaching the gospel because we live in critical times now. And God is using whoever he can use. I do not want rocks to cry out in my place. And once again, when, if it's, when it's time, he'll help me get, get everything fixed in my mouth. But you shouldn't be focused on my mouth. You, you should be focused on what's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Praise be unto God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So back to the subject. He keeps showing me this number, 911. Trust me, it means something. I looked up and asked him, I said, Master, uh, could you be coming back on that day? <laughs> You're not going to find out what day you come. He said, be ready. This is the month where they get ready to sign over the covenant. This is very important. Oh, my God. Sisters and brothers, my word of encouragement to you today. Are you ready to meet thy God? Are you ready to meet your God? Because... He's not going to let us stay in this too much longer. We are at the brink of something big that's getting ready to happen. I am not saying this to put fear in no one. I am not saying this to make you fearful. I am speaking because the Holy Spirit giving it to me. And I'm not going to shut up. I, I told what you give me, God, and I know it's for your people. I must share it. Because he said, warn them for me. The apostle Paul says, for it is, this is the word of the Lord that he given me. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade me. We know the terror of the Lord. We know everything is going the way the world see it going now. But things is getting ready to change, my friend. Please get saved before Jesus returns. Follow me on some of the videos. Amen.